Good day, this is Joe, Ordinary Gamer, Ordinary Dad, coming at you for a special video for Mouse or David. I believe I am the only person on this planet who still calls you Mouse, what is now 30 years later, or 25 years later, I guess. But uh, yeah, so this is a special request for a throwback to uh, Warcraft 2. Um, and, you know, this is an interesting era in gaming. Um, Warcraft 2, um, obviously the 80s brought us the boom of home consoles, Nintendo, Atari, uh, 2600, and then ultimately Sega joining uh, in the early 90s. Um, but um, um, this was the era of the home computer, uh, and the 90s did a lot for gaming history and gaming explosions too. Um, because the home computers started connecting online. Um, this is the <laughs> classic massive battle when you uh, go off screen. But home computers started connecting online, so we all got our 9600 9, baud modems and ee -er, ee -er, got online to uh, play uh, Warcraft 2. We all dialed in to play it. And this is one of the first games that we played online. Warcraft 2 was a huge game changer back in the day because not only could you play with your friends online from your own house, which was a novel concept in the 90s, um, but you could compete against them. So you could play competitive games with them. And um, came out in 95, and in 96, it was such a large phenomenon that it out actually uh, sold as many copies as Windows 95 did in 1996. So it was a big deal, a uh, big part of gaming history and a big part of my own history. Um, the... You know, back in back in my day, back in the 90s, back in the 80s, we didn't have graphics, we didn't have game balance, we didn't have good interface. You know, what did these kids have? We had music. So here's the intro. I'll let you guys watch it for nostalgia. The once mighty army of Azeroth lay among the blackened and charred remains of Stormwind Keep. Those that escaped fled across the Great Sea, bringing tales of the suffering they had faced at the hands of the Orcish Hordes. Eager to engage in battle once again, the Orcs constructed ships of war to bear them across the Great Sea. Orcish warriors yearned for the sounds of battle to fill the air and looked to the far horizon for new blood to spill. Using the weapons forged by their new allies, the humans made haste to prepare for the onslaught. While dwarven cannon were being loaded, others armed themselves with elven steel and mail. against a common foe, mankind stands at the shores of destiny and awaits the coming of the Tides of Darkness. All right, so that's the intro. Um, you know, if you came from the 90s, you had that memorized. And, and one thing that, uh, you know, how they go back through the old actors, you know, friends, actors, or whoever in the 90s and say, where are they now? Where is that voice actor? <laughs> Chris and I used to mimic him so much back in uh, uh, middle school and uh, high school. The orcish armies yearn for the sounds of battle again to fill the air and look to new heroes horizons and it's just like it always it always to us you know the the teenage boy sounded like he was doing his reads while sitting on the toilet obviously you can imagine the strain in his voice and where we thought that came from um, but i'd love to he i'd love to get a follow-up you know where is he now where is that where is that voice actor now what is he doing what's going on everything else um and so um this is a game that i played a lot uh poorly um, played it a lot in um, 
uh, middle school, played it some in high school. High school, he started moving on to more RPGs, Diablo, and so on and so forth. Um, and at the time, we were also playing a lot of MUDs, which are, for those of you who don't know, um, they are games without graphics. So you build your character, and you're reading a story, and you you have an interactive story with you know a bunch of other characters in the world and a bunch of other players, uh, but no graphics involved and strictly a straight typing game. So we're going to do a little throwback. T uh, whoops, we're going to do a little throwback uh, today for David, who I said, as I said, requested this, and you know he's my he's my. Uh, one of my best friends' brothers. <laughs> we all we all used to play this, and and we were all very bad. Um, as I said before, there's no balance in this game. Orcs are way stronger than humans. Um, there is no careful race balance, careful class balance, anything else. There's absolutely best units. Um, absolutely, you know, builds. It doesn't have all the subtleties of, of Brood War or StarCraft II of countering units with other units. Um, I think that. Um, you know, back in the day, I probably could have taken three or maybe even four computer opponents. The computer's pretty bad, and particularly bad at uh, SimCity, where it builds its, uh, how it builds its uh, towns. Um, I have, I literally have not played this in 25 years, so <laughs> I am going to be extremely bad too. Um, so we are going to, um, we are also going to, um, we're going to play a couple of uh, maps. So. Uh, I think um, we're gonna play uh, the play the the two maps that we played most as kids was Plains of Snow and uh, Garden of War, and then uh, depending on how these go, I'm also gonna throw I'm also gonna create a custom map real fast as a throwback to uh, my good friend Chris, who I thought had an ingenious map that. As you know, the 13, 14, 15 year old boys, we just laughed our butts off when we played it. Um, so here we go. Um, talk away through, uh, you know, um, this game. We'll see what we got. I'm going to pause it real fast. Okay, so we're starting on the west. Plains of Snow. Um, you can follow my little Orcan cursor. It is an eight player map. Approximately, there's people northwest, northeast, uh, middle. There's two very close spawns in the uh, kind of like the, I guess, 10 o'clock. And the eight o'clock position. There is a southwest. It's pretty well covered, and then southeast, uh, almost in the cardinal directions. But there's no due north and south. And then for your expansions, um, besides the eight starting points around the edge, you have five mines in the middle that have to be. You have to uh, get lumber to. Um, you have to chop down trees to have access to the gold mines. And then one mine north and one mine south. And, and for those of you who don't know, um, Warcraft 2 is an RTS where your goal is to kill all, all your opponents. But to do that, you need to um, hire guys and, and get tech and, and build up your armies. And the way you do that is by gathering resources, namely wood and lumber. Um, there are sea battles, but in general, sea, sea is a non-competitive um, battle milieu so we don't we didn't really play that much um, so um, let's get it going let's see how we do town hall three-way great nice nice slow start for me um, let me see if we get uh, any faster speeds here let's turn this up a little bit so there's a concept in medicine uh, which is um, becoming a deliberate expert. Now, what does that mean? What is that? A deliberate expert is somebody who practices deliberately towards a goal instead of just randomly playing or randomly, um, you know, uh, going out and shooting hoops, but actually, you know, practices their layups, practices their three throws, practices everything uh, for, for a goal, usually a profession like medicine, to get better at it. And so I have had games um, where I have been doing deliberate practice to get better at, you know, town building, placement, whatever else, um, fighting, micro, macro. Um, and Warcraft 2 is basically in the era before uh, we did that. So we were just playing. We weren't, we weren't doing anything specifically to get better. Um, we are literally just playing the game and seeing what happened. 
um, and it will show. Um, you, this is bound note edition, so you can hotkey uh, your buildings and your units, um, which is helpful. I use a Naga Razor mouse, so it has 12 hotkey assignments on its side, um, which is you know big deal. But uh, I'm gonna the the main um, part of um, Warcraft is that you cannot let your town hall ever stop building peons. That's the most important thing. Your second peon should always be building farms, basically forever. Um, and those are your two goals. Town hall doesn't stop building peons, and that um, you never stop building farms. And then you can wall off. I have no idea where my walls are, so you, you want to make a two wall gap essentially. Um, this is kind of a bad mine, so not all mine. Their starting positions create equal either. As you see, I have these trees in the way. All right, so Bob is going to build farms for the rest of time. That's all he's going to do is build farms. So we do not want to stop building peons ever. Now we can build our first grunt. This guy can come over here as well. Um, on high resources, we used to play low resources. I might switch to that next time. Um, on high resources, I'm not sure when you're supposed to switch over to wood. On low resources, it was three and then one to wood. Three on gold and then one to wood. So, upgrades, huge issue. I'm going to chop down these two trees right here and try and get them out of here. So, upgrades are how we're going to beat two computers. Now, this is significantly decreasing my gold mining at the moment but it will be worth it in the long term you can see Bob up here building farms um, he's actually um, he's actually um, keeping up nicely for us so first computer should come in usually you want to form a wall of three so you can get them three times as fast and your computer your your people won't actually respond right away. So we're just going to speed this up here. Now now that these guys are done chopping, they can come chop here. Bob needs to keep building farms. I'm going to keep going with our upgrades. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. So now we got a scout. That guy came, looks like, from over there. This guy came from below us. Let's check the two spawn points below us. Definitely need to keep building there. Keep building there. Don't want to go up to Stronghold too fast. We used to rush um, ogres. Oh, yeah, so they're right below me. So we'll, we'll get we'll deal with them. We'll probably do a two barracks rush on them then. This has got to be almost done. Let's get that going. Let's get this going. Yeah, at grunts will eat archers for breakfast. That is not a problem. So you're gonna need to build another barracks. We're just gonna rush these guys down. All right. So Bob is happily building farms. You got another pee on there. I don't know why I'm staring at that. And we'll head out after the next wave of attacks. We'll probably just head out and uh, strike back and see what we can do against White. Alright, let's go. And this is done. You can upgrade and you can go. Let's see what we got here. Almost have our two going. go in here and kill their peon line. Ooh, get that catapult ballista. That's not good. You can wipe out their peon line just like in any other game. Uh, that's beneficial. Alright, so you see, you don't need a lot of wood early on. You need to return with gold. Although, saying that, now I need wood. Classic. Bob's doing pretty good on gold on uh, farms, but we're gonna have to build another one. 
I don't micro my attacking forces when they're just cleaning up the town too much. Okay, we actually are going to have to pour more guys on the wood here. But the nice thing about chopping here is we've completely exposed our gold mine and made that way more productive. Alright. You know, uh, keep building farms, Bob. So, pretty bad on my wood uh, upgrades. The one bad thing about playing the computer is that um, you will not... Um, the computer will never surrender. So you kind of have to beat them down a little bit. Let's go here. Alright, we're going to change this to Stronghold. Still need more trees. About, so at about 10,000 gold, you should look for your first expansion. So we're going to go down. Uh, there's still a lot in here. We'll just expand right here. It's easy to defend for both. These guys can go there. And you can build your town hall here. Definitely going to want to get rid of these things. Alright, alright. Now, we never found the other computer, so let's go looking. They still seem to be coming from the east, so I'm going to go check out these places. And uh, we're getting short on farms, so we'll build another one of those. And that's, you can see, the main wood pile in the middle. There they are. Oh, that's some of them. Find their base. About here. Don't appear to be up there. And honestly, I don't, I don't know how well I know these spawn locations, but the computer builds pretty sprawled out, so it should be. Yeah, there's that mine. Should have run into something. Okay, so here you go. You see, you already had um, loss of that mine so now this mine's ready so all my guys that were mining can come down here let's see we got to transfer the rest of these guys so there are guys there so I uh, can't tell where the other computer is I'm gonna go down here And now it's time to upgrade to Stronghold. Build a few more grunts, but they're basically obsolete. And you guys get in there. And these guys will be just on cleanup duty. Alright. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Grunt, grunt. Bob's got to keep building farms. Where where's the other computer? Is it down here? No? No, not down there. I must have missed. They must be up here. Although I can send these two down here too. So this is bad because I've delayed so long I've lost my uh early advantage here. These level 5 grunts were bomb, but uh, no, not so much. So we'll get our ogres and we'll keep pushing forward. There they are, okay. Okay, this is just horrible pathing. Oh my god, the pathing on these are so bad. Top attack in the castle when there's ballista firing at you. Alright, so that was a disaster. And they are building down there, so we will try and kill them down here. Okay. So, what do we got going on? So, let's uh, get our ogres going. We can get this up to Fortress since we've been screwing around so much. Oh, 
So, big thing for me is going to be cutting off their expansion. Let's get that going. You saw they already had knights, so we are behind the wall. Actually, they're going to where I want to expand next anyways. So, I sat on my, like, low-tier army for a long time. Um, in reality, I, uh, oops, needed to uh, upgrade that a little faster. Let's get down here. No, not there. How about where all our guys are dying? Yeah, so the the computer movement here is horrible. Um, basically, it will not not move for you in any way that is helpful. So we are going to start building peons again, I guess. Just lost everyone. All right. Now we have that done, so we can build our altar of storms, which is L is the hotkey. Can't change your hotkeys, which is unfortunate. I do like um, changing to. Um, we honestly don't need any more. Um, that those guys. Okay. I don't know what the um, completed message is, so let's leave grunts kind of at all these places. Uh, this is O, O, this is P. Let's make sure we're not missing any uh, expansions that the computer is trying to pull. We stopped their first expansion, but they should have another one by now. So, the pathing of these guys is horrible. Bob, honestly, you don't need to, you need, we need more gold. Um, the pathing of the characters is horrible. The fight mechanics are horrible. Um, everything is horrible. Um, but this is, this is what we had and and honestly what it did is it made a higher skill cap just because um, Then uh, you know we had no uh, We had um, um, To do so many more inputs because the interface wasn't smooth that the skill cap became very high Alright, so we are guarding those two gold mines. We're continuing to produce ogres. They are max upgrade there, so we're just going to make our ogre mages and we're going to go forward. Uh, as far as I know, white is completely dead and done. So bloodlust is the huge thing for the ogre mages. Ogre mages cost the same amount, so they're basically like researched, evolved uh, units. And uh, they do have uh, this little eye, which will help us scout. Nothing there. No expansion there. Okay, so basically we're dealing with a web-based computer, which is fine. And we are now going to build where they are going to expand. And all of these peons can go down to our next expansion site, but um, we should just come in and clean these guys up. So we have two full control groups of ogre mages, so that should be fine. And computer builds a line of farms to keep you out and then keeps its uh, ranged units behind the towers there. Um, which is smart, but um, uh, ogre mages will rip through basically everything. This was the sound that when you were playing with your friends uh, brought fear to everybody who was in the game. You heard the uh, bloodlust going off. It's so strong. 
gets way stronger than the healing, which is what the, um... Two Bloodlusted ogres, Ogre Mages can actually kill a uh, Guard Tower pretty easily. So that, where'd the rest of them go? Oh, they're all stuck on a barracks, that's great. Alright, so here we go. So, victory against two computers. Oh, they are long distance mining, that's what they did. Okay, well that's not going to work too well for them. Disrupted the computer when we uh, killed their expansion. Just uh, bloodlust everyone and uh, try and get the victory here. The um, the frustrating thing about uh, getting the final victory is that um, you got to kill literally every single person. It's not even every single building. Um, so, unlike StarCraft, they changed this for StarCraft and StarCraft 2, maybe just StarCraft 2. I, I have trouble keeping track what the rules are for all the places, but to uh, complete the game, you have to kill all the uh, buildings, too. So, the question is whether or not to go for three computers in Garden of War. Um, I can try it. I'll probably lose. <laughs> to be honest, the, the showing here wasn't too impressive. This interface is still so bad. <laughs> but, you know, love the music, love the game, love the nostalgia. Um, but uh, the fact that the ogres won't... Uh, so the computer literally chopped its way through here to get access to this mine when I started suppressing its other mine. Let's see. Just gotta get this blacksmith down. I think that's... Oh, there's, there's people there. Where'd that person come from? Alright, death by peons. Yep. Peons can do some damage. Um, there is still... Oh, there we go. Victory. Alright. Here we go. I'm a grunt. I almost got, uh, I think, marauders next. I think that's 10,000. Um. <coughs> Invariably, your kill to loss ratio is what you want for games where you can balance your RTS strategies, such as uh, StarCraft. Um, however, you'll note here that it's you just train units um, for the most part. Um, you won't have uh, you know the luxury of killing forty units with one well placed counter unit. There's not as much counter units. All right, so let's play one more. Um, two more. We'll do two more. I'm gonna go. All right, I'm gonna go three opponents. I might lose this, but you know what? That's okay. Um, I don't think anyone's going to throw rocks at me for losing to three components. Three opponents. Uh, <laughs> Twenty-five years later. All right, so here we go. Garden of War. Um, this is interesting because. Some of the computers will actually build air here. I don't remember where the I think the mine is. Where is the mine here? You can scout with your great hall too. Wow. This is so bad. Oh, how do I, oh there's my mine. There we go. Pretty good placement. Um, this is not optimum starting point. So this, the spawn locations here. There's one here that's in the middle. You can defend it with two sets of walls. One in the northwest. Two in the southeast, which are very close. One in the northeast. One south-southwest. I want to say one north, maybe? Is that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... One, two, something like that. Oh, there's one in the east, too. That's a really bad position. So this is not an optimal position. So playing by yourself, northwest is very nice. Southeast is very nice. 
Um, I still, to this day, 25 years later, I still remember that Northwest computer and South Southeast computer are air and they are the top priority because if they get, if they are enabled to, um, actually get out their air units, um, then I'm going to get, I don't have any anti-air in my normal build, so I'm going to get destroyed. So I need to rush those two down. So we will do our same build order, farm, barracks, blacksmith. I'm going to like make this a little bit of a choke point this time though, so we can defend with two. And then... Um, or, yeah, should defend with two. Let's see what we can do here. So you just spam your peon button and then you can uh, pick it up. I always, for when I was a kid, I thought his right ear was actually a missing eye and he had an eye patch. And then I realized that, no, he's just sad and looking up. I don't know why I thought that, but there's been a lot of games where I've been like, oh man... I think I know what the art is, and then I actually totally didn't know what the art was, but I had no idea as a kid that I didn't know what the art was. Um, and in reality, um, it was very different than I thought it was. So now we have our two's gap uh, hold. Uh, we can build all the rest of our buildings back. So we got blacksmith going here. And we're just gonna put a grunt here and here, and then that will be that will allow us to uh, hold the hold the town pretty easily. Guard of War so has sixty thousand mines, and one of them is sixty five. Um, so big difference between that and Plains of Snow, which is only um, forty. There we go. Hotkey that is one. I'm gonna try and clean up the start a little bit. One, there we go. So I ran around like an idiot and lost 10 seconds looking for my mind. However, it is worth it to make sure that you do find your mind and put the optimum position to it. So we gotta get that upgrade going right away. And then I'm just gonna straight up build a lumber mill right now. So that's our two grunt hold. So these guys will attack any of the one units coming in and they'll, you know, get uh, twice as much damage done. Grunt. Pretty quiet. Computer plays abnormally well on Garden of War. Unclear as to why the computer plays so well on Garden of War. Some of the uh, positions get stuck, but uh, for the most part, computer plays great on Garden of War. So I need to get up here and then there. I need to make sure the two air spawns are not um, are not actually uh, problematic for me. All right, that's that. Oops, let's get this going. More farms. Okay, so this is not computer. So next one is down here. So we're gonna go there. I heard that ready to work. I see you. Get this grunt going. All right, so you see the two front they can hold off for a very long time and then they just move up and that's the whole idea behind this kind of choke point there All right, you're good. he's still looking so there's two spawns down here all right let's see what else we got so follow the river. This is annoying. The river goes right through this guy's town and right through his golden mine. So not there. 
And then this one is the air one that we got checked for. So black is definitely not air. So our two air spawns, neither... I missed. Oh, wait a minute. What's this going to? That's it's not the one I'm looking for. I'm looking for here, right? Now I'm really confused. I think it's, yeah, I think it's down here. Yeah. It's down here. Yeah, gotta make sure that one is... All right. All right. So I, so I know one is in that southeast position. Um, we'll go move out and try and kill that one. Right uh, when we get uh, full upgrades done, which is essentially the biggest advantage for um, human players, getting upgrades fast. Because the computer can definitely spam units just as well as you can. I'm looking a little short on lumber. I'm going to switch over a little bit. Alright, so I'm still missing a bunch of people. Purple. Who and where is purple? Let's go out and get them. It's like there's a massive attack out there right now. If I can split this attack, it would be very helpful. So purple's not up here. God, I don't know where anyone is. But I can meet those folks right there. Alright. So, we definitely need more lumber. Pretty good on... Um... God, you guys move so slow too in this game. So, there's one other spawn point here. Go check this one out. Okay, everyone is southwest? Okay. Let's try and get one of these guys out of the game real fast. This is where upgrades are going to come through. Here, here we go. There's purple. I can jag south for green. I'm pretty sure green is right here. Not sure where here is, but there's a peasant, so that's a good sign. Do I enter here or something? Oh, there's a bunch of peasants mine this mine. What happened here? time for two things. It's time for that, and it's time for an expansion. What is over here? I guess this is one, too. Okay, 
There's black. Here's purple. They look like they're all jacked up. Black looks healthy. Green is somewhere south. Not sure where green is or what they're doing, but I think they're messed up. Black looks okay. Purple looks dead. Okay, I'm doing okay. Black looks like it's going to be our main competition. So I, I actually like expanding towards your competition. Um, that way um, you have your fighting resources near there. Okay, green cut through to their gold mine. As soon as I get this down, I'm going to go get green. See if we can disrupt Green's peon path here. All right, this is O. This is Fortress, and then I. Oops, where are these guys going? No, I need you to fight. All right, here we go. Let's get going on Green. We gotta pump these ogres. We're way behind on tech. Okay, and you can cut this. Okay, this is perfect timing. All these guys need to go up here. You guys gotta provide cover, kill this blacksmith here. Alright, so now that, that wood's cut, we have an open path to this mine. That's pretty good. Where are we being attacked? There, okay. Here, here they are. Here they come. Let's go. Altar. You need another barracks. Okay, we're getting their pee online. That's good. Okay, so these upgrades make a huge difference. Their axe throws are only level 3. Oh, they split their army, that's why they came down to help their friend. That is why you failed. Alright, so here we go. We're doing okay. Get this going. These guys all need to mine too, so can you just go up to the mine please? And we have so one bad thing um, is that uh, you should not have a huge amount of excess resources at any time in RTS. So, me having 30,000 is actually pretty bad. Um, it means I haven't been spending my things wisely. You can all chop here. Got grunts over there. Got grunts there. Gotta keep building these. And you can go back on farm duty, actually. We're getting up there, so. attacking you? No, it's a catapult. You deal with that. Now, nah, let's see here. Ogre, ogre. This is 
still researching. It actually feels phenomenally slow. Usually all these games are fast on. And we gotta check for expansions for our gray friend. Especially in the middle. There's four mines in the middle of this. Alright, here we go. So now we're starting to roll on our buildings. Bloodlust. Nothing there. That's good. I can just go straight here. Some more buildings there. And I can go over here. Let's see what we got over here. I'm not seeing any. There is a. There is a mine here. I'm like nine percent sure. Don't die, eyeball. This is mine right up here? Yes! Still got it. Alright, nothing there. Something over here. Let's kill this barracks. And then these guys need to kill this. To kill over here. And then down there. And here we go for these guys. So we did a little grunt rush, did better with our grunt rush this time, so this game looks like to be over. Uh, but we're going to keep playing like something's going to come mess us up. I wish you could set a rally point. <laughs> a rally point is where you pick a place for the folks to end exit. So, you know, back to the concept of deliberate practice. Deliver practice would be looking at build orders, practicing your build orders, practicing your opening, practicing micros, setting up, you know, at League of Legends you can use the training dummy. Um, whereas non-deliberate practice is just basically what we're doing here. I don't know what the actual buffer bloodlust is. I think it's like double damage and double attack speed. It's just insane. Um, Paladins, which are the Ogre Mage tier equivalent, um, only can heal. And healing is great, but it is uh, it is not um, it's not in any way mean an answer to the damage output that Bloodlust gives you. I think that's it for Black. So I got something over here. Um, and so really, like, um, Bloodlust is incredible and broken orcs are way stronger than humans um, some of the most epic games I've played um, are on the, this map Garden of War this is our preferred PvP map um, how am I being attacked where am I being attacked what's attacking me of course. Right away. as far as I can tell there's nothing alive on the map um, although I might use cheat codes just to <laughs> get this done. Where's the... where is folks? Oh, here's some farms. There we go. They farmed off a gold mine. That's not good for them. Um... So, the most epic game of War Warcraft 2 that I ever played was with Gary, and we were playing Garden of War, and it was two of us versus six computers. Um, and when you have that many computers, you can't really afford to um, move out. You have to play the game with defense, essentially, in mind. And so you are bolstering your own personal defense and essentially uh, oh there's something essentially um, walling walling in and making lots of static defense so that um, you can survive the onslaught of computer after computer after computer and we were down to two death knights and a dragon and the entire map was mined out, and we used two Death Knights and a Dragon to clear the entire map. And it was ridiculously hilarious, but also amazingly epic, because, um, you know, obviously... Um, Alright, I'm going to use a cheat code here to see where I need to go. 
Uh, okay, that's that's what I didn't want from the cheat code. I didn't want to reveal the computer who had actual chance of still winning. Um, but Black's the only one left. They're, they're southeast here. In reality, they have no chance of winning, but, you know, chip in a chair. Two Death Knights and a uh, Dragon, or in this case, if you got a Peon, you got a Town Hall, you're good to go. Um, but, so we, anyways, we played this map. I was here, and Gary was here at the starting point, so we could put our defenses together. We walled here, and here, and for some reason, you can't build walls in this game. Uh, Battle.net Edition won't let you wall off, um, which is fine. Um, you know, these computers are not playing optimally, as a computer doesn't, and the the computers of um, RTSs are interesting. RTS is real-time strategy. That's the type of game this is. Uh, they get they can be extremely strong if they play outside the rules of the game. And the rules of the game are, you know, gold generation um, and resource generation. And so some of the computer settings in StarCraft 2 and StarCraft have essentially infinite amounts of gold. Um, um, and get gold way better than you. And it's not, you can't build... There's no build order that's going to be do better than the computer. You have to out micro the computer. You have to use the units that you have more effectively, um, and that's just the only way to do it. So is that it? Should be it, right? I don't see anything else. There we go. Um, and so, oh, cheater. Well, I used on screen. Whatever. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> I forgot that it did that. <laughs> The game is trolling you. All right, well, we destroyed them. Not too hard. Um, found Blacktooth last, but uh, they were able to mount some sort of a defense. So, we might, um, let's see. Um, custom scenario. Cancel. Um, so, I'm actually going to try um, to... And I forget how you do this to make a map, because um, I do want um, I guess I have to uh, let's see what we got here. Scenario. Mutton. Four players, 32 by 32. That seems really. Death, dragon, ice bridge. Um, uh, I do want to do one last um, game, which I'm going to try. I'm going to make a custom scenario called Race for Gold, which Chris and I used to play. And we found this map hilarious. And I would love to share it with you all if I can figure out how to make maps. So um, if I come back with the uh, last game and you can look at the timestamp now, we will have a hilarious custom map. Um, otherwise, um, thanks for watching. This has been uh, Warcraft uh, 2 for uh, David, for Mouse. And, uh, you know, I appreciate the, uh, appreciate the comments and I appreciate the requests. So I always try and honor the requests of folks that uh, go in. And I uh, hope everyone had a little fun going down memory lane and seeing how bad I am at this game now without group hotkeys and everything else uh, that the later StarCrafts uh, and uh, StarCraft 2, uh, you know, bring, brings in. Um, so thanks, and we will see you next time.